Greeting from Edu Aspirants, our YouTube channel to ACE Academics, competitive exams, entrance exams, as also for enrichment of knowledge. In the series of our videos on India in chapter 26, we shall see what we have to share with you about water resources of our country. The Ministry of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation lays down policies and programs for development and regulation of the water resources of the country. And you must know the minister who heads the ministry for all ministries, for everything that we share here. And we don't mention it here because they keep changing. So you have to see the latest current affairs videos of ours where we will share these names of various ministers from time to time. National Water Mission, NWM, Under National Action Plan on Climate Change, NAPCC. The main objective of the National Water Mission are conservation of water, minimizing wastage and ensuring its more equitable distribution, both across and within states through integrated water resources development and management. The five identified goals of the mission are a water database in public domain and assessment of impact of climate change on water resource, promotion of citizen and state action for water conservation, augmentation and preservation, focused attention to vulnerable areas including over exploited areas, increasing water use efficiency by 20% and promotion of basin level integrated water resources management. The main activities undertaken under the National Water Mission include Comprehensive Water Database India RIS, w -R -I -S, which is Water Resource Information System. It is a portal for providing information on water resources and it has been developed by the Central Water Commission. NWM web portal aims at providing all the information relating to water resources, organizations and their activities on different aspects of water resources at one point. Assessment of impact of climate change on water resources NWM has identified eight river basins and which are these Manadi, Mahi, Luni, Tapi, Satlaj, Sabarmati, Subarnarekha and west flowing rivers from Tadri to Kanyakumari to study the impact of climate change in association with research institutes like the IITs, NITs, IISC and NIH under the R&D scheme of the Ministry. Human Resource Development and Capacity Building Awareness Creation. NWM has prepared guidelines for organizing HRD Training Capacity Building Mass Awareness Program. Preparation of State Specific Action Plans for what Resources NWM has initiated actions to prepare SSAP for water sector covering irrigation, agriculture, domestic water supply, industrial water supply and wastewater utilization in respect of all the states and union territories. National Water Policy 2012 was adopted to conserve, develop and manage water resources in the country. Recommendations of the National Water Policy are emphasis on the need for a national water framework law, comprehensive legislation for optimum development of interstate rivers and river valleys, evolving a system of benchmarks for water uses for different purposes to ensure efficient use of water, setting up of water regulatory authority in each state, and incentivizing recycle and reuse of water. National Water Resources Council NWRC 
The Prime Minister is the Chairman and Union Minister of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation is the Vice Chairman of the Council. National Water Board was constituted to review the progress achieved in implementation of the National Water Policy and to report the progress to the National Water Resources Council. Jalkranti Abhiyan of the Ministry of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation is for consolidated water conservation and management in the country. The objectives of Jalkranti Abhiyan include strengthening grassroots involvement of Panchayati Raj institutions and local bodies in the water security and development scheme, for example, participatory irrigation management, PIM, encouraging the adoption utilization of traditional knowledge in water resources conservation and its management and enhancing livelihood security through water security in rural areas and other areas central groundwater board cgwb under the ministry is a multidisciplinary scientific organization with a mandate to develop and disseminate technologies monitor and implement national policies for the scientific and sustainable development and management of India's groundwater resources, including their exploration, assessment, conservation, augmentation, protection from pollution, and distribution based on principles of economic and ecological efficiency and equity. Aquifer mapping and management plan. What are aquifers? They are natural rock formations which can store and economically yield water. Important to remember, major objectives of the National Project on Aquifer Management, NACWIM. This is the picture of an aquifer. Delineation of aquifers in 3D on 1 is to 50,000 scale in priority areas that is overexploited, critical and semi-critical categories of assessment units as well as water quality and other vulnerable areas. Detailed characterization of aquifers including quality of groundwater and formulation of aquifer management plans. Rajiv Gandhi National Groundwater Training and Research Institute RGNGWTRI is at Raipur, Chhattisgarh. So this is also important to remember. Raipur is also the capital of Chhattisgarh. It caters to the training requirements of Central Groundwater Board and other central and state government organizations, academic institutes and NGOs and other institutions working in this field. Central Water Commission, CWC, is divided into three wings, which are Designs and Research Wing, DNR, Water Planning and Projects Wing, WPNP, and the River Management Wing, RM. There is a separate Human Resources Management Unit to deal with Human Resources Management and Development, Financial Management, Training and Administrative Matters. CWC has established 13 regional offices and these are at Bengaluru, Bhopal, Bhubaneswar, Chandigarh, Coimbatore, Delhi, Hyderabad, Lucknow, Nagpur, Patna, Shillong, Siliguri and Gandhinagar. National Water Academy, the training institute of CWC for training of central and state in-service engineers, NGOs, etc. and it is located at Pune in Maharashtra. Hydrological observations, Central Water Commission is operating a network of 954 hydro meteorological observation stations on all major river basins in the country to observe water level, gorge, discharge, water quality and silt besides selected meteorological parameters including snow observations, at key stations. Water quality monitoring. CWC is monitoring water quality at 396 key locations covering all the major river basins of India. Flood forecasting. 
there are 187 flood forecasting stations, 150 level forecasting and 37 inflow forecasting stations on major dams and barrages. Did you visualize so many? It covers 11 major river systems in the country including 72 river sub-basins. They pertain to 19 states which are Andhra Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Haryana, Jharkhand, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Tripura, Uttaranchal, Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal and two union territories which are JNK and the other is Dadar and Nagar Haveli and also the national capital territory of Delhi. Dam Rehabilitation and Improvement Project DRIP is the World Bank assisted project with the provision of rehabilitation of about 225 large dams in the seven participating states which are Jharkhand, Karnataka, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Tamil Nadu and Uttarakhand. National Register of Large Dams and our LD over 4,861 dams of the 5,174 large dams in the country have already been completed. Water Resource Information System, CWC and ISRO, which is the Indian Space Research Organization, have jointly developed Water Resources Information System. India RIS to remember. Training and capacity building. CWC offers annual training to water sector professionals. National Water Academy Pune NWA is an institute established under CWC at Kharagwasla Pune. Pune is also famous for the NDA National Defense Academy. You all know to prepare cadets to join the armed forces as officers. NWA functions as a center of excellence in training and capacity building. New areas added to the NWA's portfolio are E-Swiss Surface Water Information System, E-Water, Preparation of Probable Maximum Precipitation, PMP, Atlases, Monitoring Irrigation Projects Using Bhuvan Software, Organization and Capacity Enhancement of Hydropower Projects and the others. Central Soil and Materials Research Station CSMRS New Delhi deals with the field explorations, laboratory investigations and research in the field of geotechnical engineering and civil engineering materials for construction of river valley projects and safety evaluation of existing dams. Central Water and Power Research Station CWPRS provides basic and applied research on dam construction, river engineering projects, flood control and energy dissipation, coastal harbors and ports, nuclear power plants and infrastructure foundations. CWPRS is recognized as regional laboratory for Economic and Social Committee for Asia and Pacific, ASCAP. Farakka Barrage Project, Murshidabad, West Bengal is under the ministry. The Farakka Barrage Project Authority executed and now operates and maintains Farakka Barrage Project Complex, comprising Farakka Barrage, Jangipur Barrage, Feeder Canal, Navigation Log and Associated Structures. The main objective of the Farakka Barrage Project Complex is to divert adequate quantity of Ganga waters to Bhagirathi Hooghly river system for preservation and maintenance of Kolkata port by refining the regime and navigability of the Bhagirath Hooghly river system. The rail cum road bridge built across the river Ganga at Faraka establishes direct road and rail communication link to the northeastern region with the rest of the country. The Hooghly Bhagirathi river system, the feeder canal and the navigation lock at Faraka form part of Haldia Allahabad inland waterway which is also the national waterway number one. Remember this. Ganga Flood Control Commission 
GFCC Patna deals with floods and their management in Ganga Basin states. Ban Sagar Control Board, where is it? Shares the waters of River Son and cost of Ban Sagar Dam. Betwa River Board executed the Rajgarh Dam project and powerhouse. The benefits and cost of the project were shared by UP and MP, Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. The reservoir created by the Rajghat Dam has been renamed as Rani Lakshmi Bai Saga. The Brahmaputra Board has set up Northeastern Hydraulic and Allied Research Institute, Nehari, at Rudreshwar in North Guwahati. Remember this? With the facilities of Hydraulic Laboratory and Material Testing Laboratories, that is soil, concrete, construction material and foundation rock. It has taken up schemes for protection of floods and bank erosion. National Institute of Hydrology is a premier R&D institute, research and development institute in the country to undertake, aid, promote and coordinate basic applied and strategic research on all aspects of hydrology and water resources development. The institute has its headquarters at Rurki in Uttarakhand. The institute has four regional centers located at Belgaum, Jammu, Kakinada and Bhopal and two centers for flood management studies at Guwahati and Patna. This brings us to the end of our video on water resources. Subscribe, like, share and do press the bell icon for updates. We will soon upload the video on the next chapter. Thank you for viewing. Keep revising.